A bit of science in Balloons Tower Defense 6. There's a bug in the game which enables towers to have more range in which they should do or enables the hitbox of certain types of balloons to be bigger in which they would normally be in order for a tower to otherwise reach it in which it would not be able to do so. So to demonstrate this bug, we're going to be using our good friend here, Striker Jones. And we're going to dump him at the very top left of the corner of this map over here. You can tell that monkey knowledge is off because the Dark Monkey is not for free. I have all of them unlocked, by the way. So it's either like have all of them unlocked or none of them. So monkey knowledge off for this scenario. I'm not too sure if there's anything that increases the range of a hero from the monkey knowledge tree. But I'm highly sure that there isn't. So Striker Jones is here in this very corner here. You see where his radius is. None of it is anywhere near the track so in theory there should not be a single balloon that striker jones should be able to target so i'm going to summon a zomg it's going to come along here and striker jones target. is not going to be able to hit it whatsoever okay now that that is said and done what is this range bug well i'm going to go to three and I'm going to set the spacing to two. And then you're going to see that something bizarre is going to happen here. Well, the range, the spacing should be a little bit. Yeah, for some odd reason, because there are multiple balloons on the screen, even though it shouldn't really work like that. Um, Striker Jones is able to hit these ZOMGs. Because if there are multiple balloons of this type or any kind of big blimp like this. Somehow the hitbox detection thinks that it's bigger on a balloon like this. So therefore, a tower which should not, not normally be able to target them is able to reach to them. So why is this the case? Why can Striker Jones hit these when they should norm, normally not be able to do so? Okay, so let's go back to one again. Just summon one ZOMG and Striker Jones won't hit it at all. So it passes on here. So why is this a case? Why does it sometimes pop them and other times it does so damage them and other times it doesn't damage them? This is really bizarre. So let's go back to two. So let's go here. So there's two of them nearby. Striker Jones is able to not. That's really bizarre. Because for some other reason when we have three of them over here, it was able to do that. Okay. Let's do this again. Count to three. No, three. No, it doesn't matter anyways. But somehow, for some odd reason, when multiple balloons clump together, or on the, the map together, Striker Jones... See, this time around, Striker Jones is able to hit it. Why is this the case? Like, this could be an abnormal science here, because we could do, like, 50 BFBs. Now, BFBs have a smaller hit detection box by default. But Striker Jones is not able to. Oh, is now able to hit them very periodically. So, for some odd reason, when there are multiple blimps on the screen, each one's hit detection can sometimes be bigger, but then at other times it's not. So, my question to you, my dear viewer, why does this happen? Why is it that when I summon a single blimp over here, Striker Jones is not able to hit it. Now, I do understand, however, if let's say a bad comes out, that Target Striker that Jones should, you should go the other way. Thanks. Fine, I'll just do two just in case. So if if I'm reading this correctly, Striker Jones should be able to hit it. Yeah, it's by under, understanding. Hmm, two of them on the screen though, so... Will this be able to go to the left? Okay, you're now going to the left. So Striker Jones... Yeah, this is understandable because this is Striker Jones' default range. But... But... A ZOMG comes along here. Again. Or maybe this one's going to go to the right. Okay, yeah. Let's just summon another one because every time I click on one, it alternates sides. Striker Jones doesn't hit the ZOMG. 
So this is a science that needs to be cracked in this game. Because I've been trying to get the big one two mega pops on this map. And it is proving to be incredibly difficult. Solely because of the fact that Striker Jones can target blimps over here. In which otherwise, if it's on its own, won't be able to do so. So let's say round 79. Let's just sum around 79. So by default, normal. These rainbows, I'm not concerned about them. They can through. get through, obviously. So Striker Jones at level 20 at his maximum range. Are there, are there going to be any points in which Striker Jones will target and these blimps? And the answer is... No. Oh, yes, it's able to do that. Because I think it's because of this particular BFB here. Increasing the amount of range in which his hitbox detection is able to detect. And then from there, be able to target it. But that's really bizarre. Let's say round 94. Let's play that one. Multiple BFBs and multiple ZOMGs. It starts targeting... I think it's the first most... Yeah, it starts targeting the backmost BFB here. But it doesn't target the frontmost ones. So it's like... Yes and no. But Ninja Kiwi, what causes this to occur in the first place? Because in some scenarios, if you're not doing a 2 mega pops. This is a, um, this is a, this could be a make scenario. Like this could really benefit or give you that little bit of edge in which you need. But when it comes to two mega pops, yes. Striker Jones, aside from bad itself, like the singular bad that spawns around a hundred that goes to the left side. I understand that because of the bad's huge radius, that Striker yes. Jones is able to hit this. But at other times, yeah, but that is what I expected. But with, let's say, a ZOMG, it will... Okay, go to the other side. Striker Jones will not hit it. Because this blimp is far away enough to not enhance the hitbox on this blimp. So I don't think it's down to set rounds. I think it is just down to how the balloons so so yeah how the balloons interact with like the towers when it comes to their coding being able to detect them to say one of them not a threat oh wait there's two oh but one of them is far away but i'm still going to target the one that's in front of me like this is a mystery that needs to be solved and i feel like this is definitely a bug in the game but it's one that is probably so innate within the coding that ninja kiwi probably can't find a way to fix this because it is just such a weird and fascinating thing like it can definitely make some people's runs but it, for two mega pops like this it can break it because this should only be able to target the bad at any given point in time it should only target the bad let's just do this again so we're going to do zero space in this time so in theory I did click it, didn't I? Yeah, I did click it. <laughs> In theory, Striker Jones won't target it. Now, here's another thought process. So let's see. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to summon 12 of them. Now, because the spacing is at zero... All of the balloons themselves will have the same area of hit detection. And therefore, Striker Jones, in theory, should not be able to hit them at all. As you can see. However, let us put down a Moab glue near Striker Jones. So let's say go up to Moab glue. We're not going to go with bigger globs. We are just going to summon a few ZOMGs here. So it's going to target all six of them one at a time. So there we go. They're spaced out. Now Striker Jones is hitting them. Really bizarre. With that little bit of difference when it comes to their gapping, Striker Jones is able to see these balloons more than they, more than Striker Jones should be able to do so. Like, this somehow makes it so that, well, 
because of the fact we didn't go bigger globs or glue splatter, we're not gluing all of them at the same time. But if there's a gap between each of them, then their hitbox somehow is bigger than what they should be. So I think this is definitely a bug in the game. For how long this has been in the game, I'm not so sure, but it's possibly been in the game since the game has come out. I would love for this to be able to be fixed because, well, Striker Jones, in theory, should only be able to directly target the bad, which spawns around 100, which goes to the left side here, because its hitbox by default is big enough so that you're um, able to hit him. Because the bigger the blimp, the bigger the hitbox. I think, in theory, that should be a thing in which should be a... a I don't know how that stuck to there. So anyways, folks, this video has gone on for a bit longer than I expected it to. So there is no, like, big challenge or anything like that. But I honestly think that this is something that should be looked into. Because it's really, um... I know it's very specific. But it's something that shouldn't be in the game. Now, if it's not been looked at at all, then is it a feature? <laughs> uh, may never know. So this is kind of a thing that I'm looking at here. I'm currently on round 97, but Striker Jones, outside of his concussive shell usages, he should not have been able to use his default attack even once, because his current range does not mean that he should be able to target anything on the screen. So I'm not worried about what this big one is doing at the moment, but he's able to target it. For some odd reason, he's able to target this fortified ZMG, even though you saw that, um, you saw within the sandbox mode, like, again, chimps, no monkey knowledge. I was doing this with no monkey knowledge from over here, but this was set us off, and there's nothing within the monkey knowledge tree with, when it comes to heroes, that increases their range at all. I swear I did not have it on. <laughs> you saw that there was no free dark monkey. So, okay, heroic reach. Projectiles. Yeah, my bad. Okay, there is a um, monkey knowledge here that slightly increases the range. But in chimps, obviously monkey knowledge is not applied. And as you saw there, well, <laughs> Striker Jones can hit them from there. He should not be able to, but he is able to do that. But thank you so much for everybody for watching. Let me know if you have any theories as to why this is the case. Maybe it's just some kind of like innate monkey uh, talent that if there are multiple blimps on the screen that there is a priority in which uh, if there's more of their kind on the screen that they... Um, the, the, the monkeys themselves feel like, you no, know, this is a threat. Even though we should not be able to attack it, we're going to attack it. So maybe it's some like in law thing but i highly doubt that thank you all so much for watching and remember if you do not like comment and subscribe lich if you do not pop its lich soul within the first time that it steals your lives it will steal all of your lives it will steal ten thousand lives which is well <laughs> which is probably over the maximum amount that you can have anyway. So I think the max is like 5,000. Like I know in sandbox mode, it goes up to 999999. But that's a sandbox thing, not a in-game thing. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and take care of yourselves.